Makeup Chronicles and I've just arrived in Qatar, Doha, uh, ready for the World Cup and for the first night I'm staying in the fan village in the free zone. Uh, it's right near the airport, I'm only here for one night, even though I had to pay for two because they're a two night minimum. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you a little bit about what this fan zone village looks like. Check-in time is 2pm, not a minute before, so I've arrived at 9am in the morning and I just thought I'd take a quick walk around, show you what to expect if you book a place here. I'm currently walking down the E block and I'm yet to be assigned a room, but this is an example of what these little porter cabins look like. They are all stacked next to each other. Um, apparently there's a bathroom toilet on the inside and we'll see that a bit later. But at the entrance, they've got a check-in area. They've got a place, a big bag hall where you can store your bags before you check in. Already, my first tip is if you have the option, don't choose D block. It's right next to the big fan zone where they've got a massive TV, lots of seating and bean bags. So unless you want to be kept up all night with people cheering and carrying on, then I'd recommend getting one of the rooms a bit further away. I've been walking around now for about 10, 15 minutes and I'm completely lost even though this is a grid system so just stop for direction it's a huge block and i've just had a peek inside they're literally just a small box near the bathroom very basic it's cost about 200 us dollars a night here like i said it's a two night minimum um, but they've got a whole section of fast food takeaway joint area well, from what i can see two major tv screens uh buggies that can take you around if you don't want to walk the long distances um yeah it's a good little place to stay if you're not wanting to spend a lot here at the accommodation in Doha. I think I've just scored a quick sneaky peek before check-in, so I'm going to show you what these porter cabins actually look like. At least we know we've got a bridge now. So when we check in, uh, I've got some bottles of water that I picked up at the Lulu supermarket near the metro station at the airport, and we're gonna put them straight into the fridge when we can check in. So a word of caution about booking at the fan village in the free zone. They seem to have over allocated the cabins. So even though the check-in time is meant to be 2 p.m., they're telling everyone 4 p.m. And it's creating a lot of anger and frustration people are asking to speak to the manager they're wanting refunds there's not enough space here i heard one guy next to me complaining he'd already been allocated a different fan village for the last night because they couldn't fit him in the one he booked so it's a complete shambles and this is a risk if you take the basic accommodation package in qatar they just haven't allocated accommodation accordingly and this has been one of the big gripes of this world cup is that Qatar is just not big enough to sustain the number of people coming here to enjoy the football. That's really detracting from the experience unfortunately and I am now going to leave to head out and explore somewhere else in Doha because I simply can't get into my room <laughs> and even though I'd like to have a shower and refresh it's just not possible but I will return a bit later on this evening to see if I'll be able to get a cabin. bathroom in my particular cabin is atrocious. There's wet tissue on the floor everywhere. There is a sink with a rusty nail. 